I'm Robin Densmore, and I'm glad you're watching the October edition of What's Up Georgetown. September featured a number of fun ways for Georgetown residents to connect. We had three cleanup events for Love Where You Live Month. Dogs of all shapes and sizes enjoyed our annual Canine Kerplunk. Neighbors from around Georgetown gathered with our public safety departments for National Night Out. And folks visiting the square got to see a performance by Ballet Folklorico. Look for more opportunities in October to come out and enjoy Georgetown, including arts events and the celebration of the 40th anniversary of our Main Street program. As of October 1st, the city officially is in our new fiscal year. The city council adopted the fiscal year 2023 budget on September 13th. Major themes of the adopted budget are maintaining service levels in the face of record-setting growth and responding to nationwide economic pressures while executing studies and projects initiated this year, addressing staff workload pressures, improving risk management practices, and responding to a tight labor market through retention and attraction efforts. The adopted budget totals $722 million and decreases the city property tax rate to 37.4 cents. That's among the lowest in the area. Following cost recovery analysis across multiple departments, and a water and wastewater rate study, Georgetown residents and customers can expect several user fees and water and wastewater rates to increase as well. We joined Williamson County on August 31st to break ground on the Southwest Bypass Extension Project. The project will extend the two-lane Southwest Bypass Road from Wolf Ranch Parkway to SH-29. It will provide 1.2 miles of shared use path along the extended road and is anticipated to be completed in summer of 2023. Without further ado, please enjoy this trailer of a documentary we're making to celebrate 40 years of our historic preservation in our wonderful downtown. The main street that you see today is not what it was 40 years ago. What you saw at that point in time was the deterioration of our downtown. Everybody is working towards the same goal, and it's something that's just really made our community so special. I think that the Main Street Project was the right idea in the right place at the right time. Georgetown voters who head to the polls will be able to vote on the reauthorization of the quarter cent sales tax dedicated to street maintenance. The sales tax is paid for by all shoppers in Georgetown and goes towards maintaining the thousand lane miles we manage throughout the city. Early in-person voting is from October 24th through November 4th. Election day is Tuesday, November 8th. Celebrate the arts in Georgetown this October with a weekend full of events, vendors, and well, art. More information at arts.georgetown.org. We'll have another household hazardous waste event on October 19th. You can register by contacting customer care at georgetown.org. Follow us on our social media pages, sign up for our weekly newsletter, visit the city website, and check out the reporter newsletter for upcoming news and events. See you next time.